Well, today we are going to Culebra. And uh, right. we're, we're going to fly again instead of taking a ferry. Uh, and uh, it's uh, supposedly a 15 minute flight instead of a 10 minute flight to, uh, to Villaquez. But uh, it's a little cloudy today. We just came through actually a torrential rainstorm. But, uh, you know, we'll see how the next couple days go. But uh, we're about ready to go into the airport and, uh, and uh, wait for our plane. So let's go. Well, we're having a hard time leaving the car rental place. <laughs> Just wandering down the road very slowly. And the woman who rented us the car was yelling at them because they had <laughs> knocked down her trash and were eating it. They're just pests to the people who live here. They knocked down her Christmas decorations too. <laughs> but of course, I think they're charming. Here's the entrance to the Playa, Playa Flamenco. It costs us uh, $2 for each person plus $5 for parking, so $9 to get in there today. So here we go, onto the world famous Flamenco Beach in Culebra. And just as the sun is starting to shine a little bit through the clouds, it's a plane coming in. pretty early here. It's like 9-11 in the morning. That's pretty much our standard time to get to work. Before. Yeah. But we're not the first people here. Here it is. The world famous Flamenco Beach and uh, I think we're... There's my Pelicanos. Let's go see if we can find uh, some shade. Wow, here is the view from our beach spot. This is parked right underneath a palm tree with a wand hanging down. One of the iconic sites of Culebra here is the abandoned tank. Uh, all pictures I've seen of it has actually been up on the beach, but it uh, doesn't look like even like high tide, so. I don't know what happened here. Maybe the beach eroded and it's no longer up on the beach like it was. Well, amazingly, there's uh, more than one here. So uh, maybe the one we're seeing down here on the beach is not the one you know, on the famous iconic picture. But uh, I suspect that we're pretty well protected here on uh, Culebra. What do you think there, son? I feel really protected. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> Nothing's going to harm us. <laughs> We just arrived at our B&B, and uh, just in time for a little bit of rain. But we have the downstairs unit. I'll go do that. <laughs> and Lisa's, Lisa's already making herself at home. To the Gypsy Mermaid Guest House. And we have a little, little table. Sweet. And uh, the there she is. Over here? That is the beaches of Culebra. Oh, wow, I wonder how many we can hit here in three days. I know Carlos Rosarios, but they have really good snorkeling. We've been to Flamenco. And, uh, all right, so let's go into the apartment. And did you see, there's actually one more hammock here. It's ah. just not unfurled at this moment. And you enter into the bedroom. This is a nice size, looks like it's a king size bed. Yep. You have a choice, actually. It can be king or two twins. Oh, ah. And, hey. and go into the bathroom. The bathroom, not too bad. And the living room. And we've got the kitchen. And it's a nice sized kitchen. And they're with a uh, old style microwave, but uh, obviously that's new because the old style microwaves are like, you know, huge. And uh, you know, a little itty bitty oven. So I think we're uh, I think we're set here for the next three days. Another 
all ready for Christmas here in Culebra. Looking out over the ocean. And again, here is pretty much the downtown of Culebra. So you have a little bit later uh, things that are right across from the ferry, but uh, there's not much there either. But we're going into the, uh, the sea turtle Culebra coffee. Have us some coffee, get us some sandwiches for the beach, and uh, off we'll go. This is the uh, ferry terminal area here at Culebra. Um, just sort of stand in line, get on the ferry. I don't think the ferry's here yet. But. Again, the ferry terminal area. And the little I love Culebra sign. And right behind this guy is where the ferry docks. But the ferry's not here yet. But we can see that it's probably coming in soon. As we look behind us here, a bunch of bunch of vans ready to pick up people. So let's uh, take a quick tour of some of the shops right across the street from the ferry. But this is not a super hopping town. Dive shop. Water sports shop, restaurant. And not a whole lot. This place is open last night. Williams Pizza, the chain here in Puerto Rico. And uh, this place hasn't been open in a while. Today we decided to go to the right side of Flamenco Beach. You know, we actually talked to Lisa. Actually talked to the coffee shop owner. Said that there's some really great snorkeling over here, and um, sometimes the dive boats and uh, the snorkeling trip boats come over here. So uh, we are walking over to the right-hand side of Flamenco Beach, and uh, let's go. Uh, supposedly there's some great snorkeling right off these little rocks. There's Lisa. Look at this gorgeous beach. No wonder it's world famous. Not just for the beach, but also for the snorkeling. It's a long damn walk to get here. It was a long walk to get here. But guess what? It wasn't that bad. It was worth it, it was about, actually. It's about half a mile. Maybe we weren't counting the chairs for a good day. Wouldn't have been so bad. Wouldn't have been nearly as bad. We'll have to go half a mile back for lunch. Well, this is just an incredible day at the beach. Yeah, you know, pretty much uh, isolated here, had the beach to ourselves, at least over here on the side where they said all the snorkeling was. And the snorkeling was just fabulous, fabulous. We just got back from following a, uh, a ray for 30 minutes. I mean, 30 minutes we followed that ray until uh, it got a little, took us in a little too close to the shore and got a little murky because they were close to the waves. But uh, it was it was just incredible, and uh, it was just uh, just a great great day here. And you can see the beauty of this beach. You can see why they call this one of the best beaches in the world here. So we got a recommendation for Dingy Dock. It's not in the center of town, and uh, from the entrance, uh, this place looks uh, looks great. So looking out over the, the harbor and uh, hopefully find a find a seat here. at the dinghy dock. They look scrumptious. Yum. Let's find out. Let's find out. Lisa's gonna find out. Mm. Oh my god, these are so good. And cold. Oh. Well, check out these fish. 
I wonder what they are. Holy heck, they could be dinner. Right, we're just uh, terrible YouTubers. We never do the food porn. But uh, here's our dessert. The brownie sundae. Just as the suppers are supping by. It's our second brownie sundae. Exactly, it's our second brownie sundae. We didn't take one the first time. It's a beautiful morning here in Culebra. Today we are having our breakfast and our coffee at Black Flamingo Coffee. Pretty interesting place. Open Thursdays through Monday. And we're gonna grab one of these seats. Let's go inside. Check out the walls. It's full of uh, people right now. And the ceiling. Oh, this is uh, Meloni's Beach, best north wing here in uh, Culebra. As we've been told by two people here, by our Airbnb owner and the uh, and Don, who uh, owns the Culebra Coffee. Now, this is not the supposedly the snorkeling side. This is pointing out to the harbor. I'll show you the, the snorkeling side. We do have a snorkel around here. And, uh, off in the distance, that's uh, Puerto Rico. And uh, we uh, decided to, this is, this, is a, this is a little rocky beach. So it's not uh, typical sand. It has a little shade on the side. And uh, we have, uh, these are just chilling before we, uh, we go out. And uh, we're about ready to go out pretty soon. So they take some video of the other side. And here's the ferry leaving from Culebra. Okay, perfect. He only has one uh, person working today, so and mom is busy in the terminal all day, so he didn't know. Yeah. And here is the cargo ferry coming into Culebra. Stuff has to get delivered. Gas, food, cars. This is how it comes in. Here's the snorkeling side. Something a little more rocky here. A little place to get in. And over here by these rocks here. And I see some people snorkeling over here, but you can see some of the. Uh, ooh, well, I guess that doesn't really matter, does it? Um, This must be a Cule Brita right over here. I suppose there's some great snorkeling over here. Time for a day trip the next time we come here. Codfish. Codfish and yellow snapper. And yellow snapper. There's gonna be fresh fish tonight here at the, yeah. the dinghy dock. Yeah. Cheers. I'm enjoying a bushwhacker. Mm. Before we get on the plane to leave Culebra after three phenomenal days, we had a great time. It's not a place to go for nightlife, that's clear. And there's not a huge number of dining selections, but we found a couple that were fabulous, including this place where we are right now, dinghy dock, where I'm enjoying this wonderful bushwhacker. And we also had the most fantastic, unbelievable, phenomenal snorkeling experience we ever had in our lives. So until next time, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell to be notified of our other videos. I can hear them making the next drink back there right now. Until next time, hasta luego.
So in, in a first, in an absolute first, we are at our car before we were supposed to take off. So the plane is so small that when they got everybody there, all five of us. We left. We left. 21 minutes early. And since it's only a 13 minute flight, you know, we got to the airport, got our luggage, and got to the car before our scheduled takeoff. You will never ever experience in your life anything like that. <laughs> and we used to think Puerto Rico wasn't efficient. This is the most efficient thing I've ever seen in my life. It is.